Hello, Clement Teacher 9 here with another Topic of the Week video, and this week I'll be talking about Overwatch's lore and how it's been wasted. This week's topic was submitted by Tumblr Non, and their topic is Can you talk about how Overwatch is wasting its lore? Absolutely, Anon, because I've actually kind of had this stuff on my mind for a while, and you know what? This is a good opportunity to talk about it. I was one of the people who bought Overwatch when it first came out. In fact, I believe I even pre-ordered the game. So I was, I've been playing this since day one. I read up on a lot of the characters, and one of the things that really got me into this game, you know, more than anything really, like, it was, it's fun to play, yeah. But one thing that really got me into it was the characters and the stories. Like, I was reading up all the official bios of these characters, and I'm like, wow, you have all these, you know, diverse characters from all over the world, all these cool backstories. And I was really excited to see more of them. And we had these, you know, and we had these comics that would come out. And, you know, a lot of the earlier ones were just, they were, they were all right. But we got to see some of these characters, like, you know, McCree and Symmetra and Junkrat. And, you know, we got to see them doing some stuff. And even if it wasn't, like, super important to the lore, okay, this is neat. But you would expect that there would be some overarching continuity. Like, this game seems to promise all this big lore and hit all these events. They had all these CGI trailers, even from before the game came out and after it came out, showing all these characters. Some of them were some more introductions to the character. Some of them were just sort of showing the state of what they were doing. Some of them were actually important. Like, you have the one where uh, Winston is getting attacked by Reaper, and this is, you know, when he does the whole recall to bring everyone back. You had the you had that one. I think it was. I think it might have been the first one, where you had Tracer and Winston fighting Reaper and Widowmaker, and you had that those kids there too in the museum. You have you you have the Hanzo and Genji one, which is awesome. You and you have like even later ones like the May one, which is heartbreaking. And then you had the one with a uh, with Reinhardt, a young Reinhardt, to give a little bit of context to things from Eichenwald. And I'm like, okay, this is all cool and everything, but they're basically just essentially screenshots of a wider lore that spreads at least decades before the game, you know, the game starts. You have, you know, way back when Overwatch first started, you had the Omnic Crisis, the formation of Overwatch. You had the golden years of the all that time when Overwatch was at the top of the world, helping and protecting people. Then you had the fall, where everything just went to crap, and you know. They had the fight between Jack and Gabriel in Switzerland. Then you had Overwatch disbanded. And then you have the recall, like the recall era, where Winston is just like, no, enough's enough. We need to get the band back together. And then that's where the current game is set. And you have all this interesting stuff and all these things hinted at from the bios and all these little things in the comics. And they might reference things here or there, but a lot of it's just kind of drip-feeding lore. And it's the problem that I have with, you know, Steven Universe, and this is one of the reasons why I quit watching Steven Universe, was I felt like you were getting a lot of filler when you should be ha having a lot of important story. Like, you drip feed this important ideas and important elements, and then you go, yeah, now let's go back to filler. And with Overwatch, you have to spend way, like, months and months, sometimes even like a year, waiting for something significant, or anything really. Like, I read the Junkrat comic, and okay, that's nice and all, but it didn't really do much. I mean, they hold, they have the whole idea of the, the Junker town and stuff, and the Queen, like, if you want to include uh, Junkrat and stuff, why don't we get comics, multiple comics, based on the whole thing in the Junker town, and the, and the Queen, and all that stuff. Like, you know, the, the, con the, um, the potential of these comics is so wasted. Instead of having just one line of comics that, m that just picks randomly one of the dozens of characters that could that could that's in the game i mean you could have multiple comics you could create your own like universe of comics like you have with dc and marvel and you could you know have numerous comic like essentially like mini series that may give backstories on certain characters like let's pick diva for instance we know that she was you know a pro gamer who i believe they started out they i believe she um, got famous playing starcraft and um then she was recruited into piloting the mechs, the um, the mechas. Oh yeah, I think they're called the mechas, the M-E-K-A. But 
because of her skills as a gamer. And so she basically was drafted into the military to work on this. And that's where we are at now. She's, you know, this is that's what she does. Okay, so let's get a comic series showing us this. Showing her as a pro gamer, getting recruited into the military. Maybe two, three, four comics if you really want to, like, do something more with this. To really sort of give us this story. Why don't we have a comics about these characters' origin stories? So that you can have, okay, you want, you want, let's like pick McCree. You want McCree's origin. You want Mercy's origins. You want Gabriel's origins. You want, you know, something specific about these characters. Then you can have these little mini-series. And then you have these, but then you can have, like, longer-running, like, timelines or lines of comics. Like, what if we had a comic that was focused around Winston's doing the over, the, the recall? You, had a li you have a line of comics, instead of just being like the Overwatch comics, where it's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you have all of them are about different characters, what if you had a line of comics that was like, let's just call it Recall, like a re the Recall line, and then you have, Win like you have like Winston at Watchpoint Gibraltar, and then you, then you show him being attacked by Gabriel like he was in that CGI trailer. And then you show the recall, and then you see people coming back. You see Tracer, you have uh, Mercy, McCree, Jack, Anna. Eventually all these characters sort of coming together, and then you have storylines of them dealing with Talon. And maybe if you want, you can have a whole line of comics just focusing on the Talon characters. And the whole issues. Like, so instead of getting like one Talon comic, which is kind of vague, and I felt very underwhelmed by it, you have a whole line of comics so that you can get context for what the villains are doing because a couple years in and I still don't even have much of a clear idea of why, what is Talon's motivations? Like, what, why do they want to destroy Overwatch? Like, these are our main villains. You have several characters in the game like Reaper, Widowmaker, Sombra, Doomfist, all working with, you know, Talon. It's like you have all of these things going on, you have all this lore event, but they're only ever focusing on a little bit. The best event, I have to say, was probably the Uprising event, where not only do we get a fun, ma a fun mode in the game, which a lot of people were hoping would eventually get expanded into something more akin to like a single player campaign, or maybe a co-op campaign, where you're fighting against um, AI enemies, but in lore relevant events. That really didn't go much. But with, the, with Uprising, you also got the comic. You got the Uprising comic, and we got to see a young Jack, a young Anna, and Gabriel. We got to see, you know, Tracer and Genji when they were new to Overwatch. This is cool! And it was, it was a nice event, and I was hoping we'd get more like that. Like, actually focus on stuff. You know, it's like they kept promising all this big story. And like, you guys have writers, but you're not, you're not building on this. Like I said, you could have dozens of comics. You could have multiple teams working on these comics. Like, be like Marvel. Have a mini little universe where all these characters, and you can do all sorts of stuff. Show us, like, comics that show the current continuity. Yeah, you would have to keep up with it. But for all the people who've been spending all this time, you know, looking into lore, speculating, you know, let's have something that's more more concrete and expansive than just occasionally getting little bits. Like, yeah, it's neat that they'll put some details into the maps about that's referencing certain things like on Hanamura, where you have the, um, you see like arrows and stuff from the fight between uh, Hanzo and Genji. Like, okay, that's neat. In Watchpoint Gibraltar, you see like the desk where Winston is at and you see, you know, jars of peanut butter and stuff. So it's like, okay, that's neat. But I want actual story. Like, I I want an actual storyline for this. And they were promising stuff like this, but then never did it. They had this whole graphic novel promised, and that they were going to do, and it was supposed to be about the formation of Overwatch in that early time period. So, awesome, right? That we get to see, you know, Jack and Anna and Gabriel and Reinhardt and Torb in their prime, you know, in the Omnic Crisis, like, forming Overwatch. Awesome! And they canceled it, and you're just like, what? The, what was going to be probably the biggest piece of lore that they were going to add, or expand upon, really, is canceled. And apparently it's because they had been changing the lore so much since they started that their initial story didn't work. 
And I'm like, and I was reading, and I'm like, is, is, is that really? That's, that's just an excuse. Like, you guys are writers, right? You writers, you write stuff, right? This is what you do. This is your job. This should be your passion. So you can't change the story? You can't change it to fit the current canon? That's all you really have to do. Like, they never actually gave super deep details on stuff, so it's not like people were going to go, well, why isn't this in? No, we were promised something about the origins of Overwatch. So if you change stuff, okay, no one's complaining about that. But to use that as an excuse for why you didn't give us that graphic novel... All you have to do is change the story to make it fit the current canon. Boom. Then you make the graphic novel. I, I feel like they didn't even want to do that. I feel like these writers... I feel like Blizzard doesn't want to do story with this game. I feel like they care more about, you know, the actual game itself than the story. Which, okay, yes, it's a game. Yeah. But when you're promising the story and you're, you're bringing in people for the story, the story is the reason why I got into the game in the first place. And I haven't played Overwatch in a while, because I've lost interest in it. I've lost interest in the story. I got tired of waiting, and all this new time stuff that they bring up, some of it's just totally irrelevant. Like, you have all of this lore, decades of in-universe continuity. You have all of this time of you can develop. You have these little hints about stuff. Like, the whole origin of Widowmaker of her being kidnapped, brainwashed, and then being forced to murder her own husband, and then being completely, like, experimented on by Talon to become an assassin. We get little bits, like the confrontation between Widowmaker and Anna, and you know that she's the reason why, you know, Anna lost an eye. Like, okay, let's get a little more, like... You, this is my problem. I mentioned this earlier, but with like with Steven Universe, you're, you're drip feeding stuff. You can't spend years drip feeding important information and then occasionally going, okay, I guess here's some, some important information, and then going back to nothing except maybe drip feeding. I mean, you can only jerk around people so much before they just give up, and I gave up. Like, there was a lot of stuff that I was really excited about with the characters. I want to see a lot of this stuff done, and sure, I understand it might take a while to get to some of these things, to get, to get to all of these characters, but there's a lot that they have to that they haven't explored at all. Like, what about the conflict between Symmetra and Lucio? Like, there's stuff that you can do there. How would Junkrat and Roadhog really tie into things? Would they would they tie into stuff? Would they have their own conflicts with Talon and Overwatch? I mean, you have little bits like in the voice lines in the game, like when Widowmaker is trying to recruit Hanzo into Talon. Okay, what if you had a comic where they try to recruit him in because his brother t was worked with Overwatch? You're saying, hey, why don't you work with us? And you have him refuse it. You actually show us these things in the story in, you know, canon uh, events. Like, we or no, it's canon events, but then you have canon in the game where it's like, okay, some of these lines are canon, some of them are not. Some of them are, like, hypotheticals. Okay, all right. Neat. That's neat and all. But you can't just keep promising a story and, and build up this world that has so much interesting lore and only kind of tell us about some of these things. Like, I, I stuck with this for a while. A good year and a half that I was really kind of, like, hoping to get more real story, and anytime we did get it, like, the uprising of it was exciting for me. It's like, okay, in the junk, the, the whole, um, the whole, uh, what, what was it, the, the Frankenstein, the junk, Junker, uh, Stein, or whatever, event, that was fun. It didn't really tie into canon much, except, I mean, he had a comic, but, like, it's like, it really annoys me that you have these company with so much resources and making so much money and they they could if they promise the story and they could deliver they could easily deliver this you don't have enough writers to write all of this stuff for all of these characters then bring in more writers bring in artists and stuff to draw comics you know bring in you have animators you need more animators get more animators to animate new you know shorts like I this is like I don't mind if the actual like complete canon is spread out over all these different mediums 
if it's all focused on, you know, with this game, like, all right, yeah, I'll watch, I, I watched the shorts, I read the comics, I watched even those little, little short videos that weren't, like, the full CGI trailers that gave us a little bit of background on some of the characters, and it's like, okay, it's like when, when Brigitte came in, it's neat and all, but... <sighs> It feels like they don't really care about the actual story. And if you don't care about story, then don't come up with this huge, expansive lore and not do anything with it. It's the same thing with Steven Universe. If they don't want to do lore, if they don't want to do a big, complex storyline, then don't bring it up. If overall... Like, like with um, Team Fortress 2. Team Fortress 2 is not super, like... When you're looking at the game, it's not super complex. There's not really... Too much going on. It's it's mostly a fun game. The comics have more story to them, and it's pretty simple. It, I mean, you have some of the the shorts, which are mostly just for fun. But to see these characters actually, you know, doing stuff, which which is neat, and especially for really notable ones like um, expiration date. <laughs> but you have more consistent story with the comics, and people who dedicatedly follow the comics for the story. Because, at the very least, they were giving story. With Overwatch, you have all these comics, and most of them don't even really apply to the overarching story. And it's inf it's infuriating for me, as a fan, to sit here and wait for story, and just to get little bits on occasion. And then sometimes when we do get stuff, it doesn't, it doesn't really have much context, or it's vague. And it's like... And even the, the latest event... I don't remember what it was called. It was kind of forgettable. But, you know, you had the Black Watch crew going in there, and this was supposed to be the event that had Overwatch, like Black Watch exposed to the world, and it was something that contributed to the fall of Overwatch. But you just get a little, like, a little bit at the end, it is like, oh yeah, and this is what caused Overwatch, this is this contributed to Overwatch's fall, and that's about it. Like, can we get comics about this? Like, can we get comics about before they go on the mission, then comics after they go on the missions? And where you get to see the fallout. You get to see Jack's and Anna's conflict with Gabriel over what he did exposing Blackwatch. Like, what if we get to... Like, we see that there's some conflict, like, with McCree, but what if we got to expand on this? What if we got to see these characters actually have this conflict? And it really annoys me that just sitting here spitballing some of these ideas, you can make dozens of comics out of this because you have all this lore set up for them. They already set up all this lore, but it's like they just stopped. I'm like, you're Activision, you're freaking Blizzard Activision, and you have all this money, all these resources, and Overwatch has made them bank, so you're so much you could do, but you're not. And I just got fed up with it. Like, I don't really care about Overwatch lore anymore. I was, I was willing to speculate... When the game came out, I was speculating for a while, you know, sort of discussing with friends different things, like what could be done in the story. And unfortunately, the reality is, is that not much is being done with the story. And at, at this point, even if they did start giving a story, I find it so hard to care. Like, I've already, wait, I already waited a couple of years to get story, and then we got minimal amounts of it like it, it's sad because I really 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 wanted to love all the story in Overwatch I would like I would talk with friends a lot about the story and the lore that we got what could be done next who are these characters how do they connect what is what's what is all going on in this character's backstory Reaper is so mysterious what's going on with him I talked about this stuff but <sighs> It seems that Blizzard doesn't care much. I'm like, okay guys, you know, you want to make the game and all competitive and everything, okay? Can you at least give us the story that you promised and all the stuff that, that could have been done and is talked about in the bios that they've had since day one? It's, it's a disappointment. And there's so much more that could have been done that had they put the efforts in, they have the resources, they have the time, they have the people, and they have the opportunity to get everything that everyone that they would need in order to make this happen. But they just didn't. And it's 
It's disappointing. Well, I think that's about it for today. So, uh, if you want to, if you want to submit a topic to me, you can comment below if you're on YouTube, and if you're on Tumblr, you can send me an ask and do topic colon then whatever topic you want me to talk about. Just make sure the follow rules I'll be posting down below. If you want to watch last week's topic video, you can check that out here. If you want to watch next week's topic video, you can check that out here when I get that done. So if you want to, if there's anything else you want to talk about about Overwatch and its lore, or maybe things that you found disappointing, please comment below. And thank you for watching.